All right, I think I'm live. Am I live? Tell me, tell me in the chat if you can hear me. I went to click the start button and it disappeared. I was like, where the hell did my start button go? It's gone. And then it came back. So I don't know why it did that to me. Gave me a little minor panic attack there right before the start of the stream. Hey everybody, it's Alandrak, I am back. We are going to be playing some more of the Don't Starve Wheeler Trilinked Worlds, primarily in Shipwrecked today, because our volcano, last time it was dry season, was on vacation. I don't know what it was doing. It was just like, nope, no snacks, don't want nothing, no eruptions. We're not doing any normal summer stuff. Um, so I want to see if it's going to be normal this year. <laughs> and we got to find pack and bagums in the slot machine. I'm just really feeling like we're missing out on our true shipwrecked experience without those two things. It seems like there is something else. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. Oh, um, tomorrow I will be live streaming. Um, I think maybe starting around 1.30. Um, the Path of Exile uh, Crucible League starts tomorrow. Oh, Tiger Shark, that's the other one we got to find. Um, but the Path of Exile Crucible League starts tomorrow, I think at 2 p.m. my time, if I uh, counted right. Uh, so I'm going to be playing that for the rest of the day tomorrow, as long as my voice lasts. Um, and then I may stream it off and on over the next week or two. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, so there will be that. And then there was something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how my day's going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop in and get going and see what's going on in Shipwrecked. It's been two weeks since I've played this world, so it'll take me a minute to get back up to speed. I did kind of skim through um, the video from last time. I'll have to see uh, what all it's looking like. I think I actually left that posted. I'll need to unlist last times because I do that. Unless it's like a special event like the uh, patch reveal notes, whatever. Or the Wilson reveal one. Alright, looks like I was making taffy. It's always nice to start your day with some taffy. Get your sanity up, get your health down a little bit. Um, and I came back to base for some reason. Oh, it's about to get hot. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer because I want to be able to... Stay cool, but also explore. Maybe I'll focus on exploring. Excuse me, I've got some hiccups. Um, I think I'll ex uh, focus on exploring islands. That way I can just keep my umbrella on. I need to find myself a luxury fan of some sort. Maybe I'll make the doi doi one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I've got a dumbbrella. Oh, we got to use the dumbbrella. This is the way. Definitely, definitely going with the dumbbrella. This is just so ridiculous. You had hiccups right now, too? That is crazy. Great minds think alike, or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the pirate hat home. It makes me sad to go out to do some nautical exploration without that, but... That's where we're at. Alright, where's my doi-doi feathers? I know I've got some somewhere. Doi-doi... Feathers. And we need to figure out how to make the luxury fan. Oh no, it's the tropical fan. So we need two reeds and two ropes. Are we doing on reeds? And I think I stashed all of my... Do I have any extra ropes? I did have ropes! Huzzah! And tropical fan. Alright, so I'm just going to use that to keep cool, basically. Um, agenda for today's stream. Uh, probably meandering a lot. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the way I roll. Um, I guess I could also... Uh, the umbrella just isn't good enough. I was using it to stay dry before, but... I don't want to do the umbrella this time. I'm also not going to bother with the spyglass. I want to have my inventory nice and lean. Mm, I'm probably not going to want the football helmet either. Let's just drop it down here. And let's make... A log suit. So I've got all this extra rope and logs. And we'll just use that for any uh, combat we find ourselves in. And why do I only have grass and flint? I had some rationale for that. <laughs> the flower. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's see here. We got all sorts of flooding. We've got 
coffee. I think we've got backup coffee and another can of silly string. That's very exciting. Keep the hammer and other stuff. All right, so we want to go and finish exploring islands because we got to find ourselves a pack and bagums. And we'll just like shoot the gaps between areas that I haven't been before. How's the peanut butter? Thicker than usual? What do you mean by peanut butter? I'm not sure what you're referring to there. Yay, tropical fan indeed. Um, I like peanut butter. Peanut butter is good. I need to make a new mouse trap for outside by our chicken coop. We've been like feeding mice all winter. And apparently, and this may be TMI for some people, when mice die and start to decompose, it smells like sulfuric, like natural gas type smell. So we're out at our chicken coop the other day. It's like, why does it smell like a natural gas leak out here? But then I Googled it and apparently the mice that have been frozen all winter because it's been freezing until today, we're actually going to have warm temperature this weekend. I'm very excited about it. But so, yeah, I guess we've got a bunch of mice out there that died and now that they thawed are recomposing or decomposing. And so it smells terrible out there. So I'm going to get one of those like bucket traps where they fall into the bucket and then I can dispose of them <laughs> so they're not rotting in my backyard. Yeah, I might be summoning a demon. That That is also a known thing. Yeah, chickens will eat mice if they catch them. Um, I just I wouldn't want my chickens to eat these mice because I had a poison trap out there during the winter. So that was the cause of death was poison. And I don't think I want my chickens eating poisoned mice. It seems like it'd be bad for the chickens. Um, but yeah, that's a good point. I could just kill the mice with the bucket. I could use like the, the drowning technique, just put water in it so they drown. And this makes me sound like a horrible person, but I don't care. <laughs> um, and then they'll they'll fight over it. That's a good point. Yeah. So chickens are like little omnivorous velociraptors. They're uh, pretty intense. They're pretty funny. All right. Let's just go exploring. We've got stuff on us. We're good. I'm not expecting anything that's going to cause any major issues. Let's just go ahead and top this up a little bit. We're topped up. Uh, propeller lights are fine. Let's go check the tar. I don't think I've got any whale carcasses that we're still waiting on, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not even going to top. You know, I'm just going to throw a rope in there. We'll top it up with a rope. How about that? Why do I still have the reeds? That was silly. All right, let's put these back. Oh, what's going on with my fish farms? I don't remember. I always forget so much when I have a two week gap between sessions. Uh, that one needs to be restocked. We've got that fish, that fish, that fish. What is the other fish? I can never remember what it's called. Um, I'm going to look up the tropical bule base, however that is pronounced. I have no idea how that word is pronounced. Um, oh, no, it just did the three special one and then a kelp. I thought it took four fish. So I don't think I have the neon quattro. That's the one that I'm missing because I've got the the Piero fish, however that's pronounced. I've got the purple grouper, but I don't have the neon quattro. That is the fish that I am missing. Yep, I've been using a piggyback. I have not gotten a Krampus sack in this world. I haven't really tried to. Um, it was Wagstaff that lucked out and got the Krampus sack on his very first Krampus summoning, which was pretty amazing. All right, let's go fast for it. Oh, former ant. I always got to keep an eye on those guys in case they drop the uh, the happy stuff, otherwise known as uh, the row. Because how it's called? There it is. There it is. All right, we're gonna detour back. We're gonna plant that. We've got Lepus Kepus in the house. Welcome everybody. If I haven't mentioned my name specifically, I do apologize. We got things to do though. We gotta be busy. Wait, no, did I already stock it? Oh, it just grew. But that's not what I want. So we're gonna harvest that. Probably just going to eat it raw. All right. Om nom nom nom. All right. And then we're going to go finish off this little island up here. Uh, I do have a lantern. Did I bring light bulbs? Of course not. Typical. I'll mostly try to do traveling between islands. Ah, we got Jesus pig still. <laughs> then we see that guy on a previous episode. Seems like we did. All right, let's just jump off here. We'll run around this island real quick. We want to do minimal exploring of islands during the daytime because I do not want to miss my chance of finding my pack and bagums. Totally missed that little area back there. 
Where is that little eye bone, fish bone thing, whatever it's called? Oh, we got more bees here. That's good to know. Then you spin. Spin for the... Grab that. Might as well. Oh, that's right. There's a life vest there. <laughs> Alright. We made it. Let's see if we can evade this guy without getting hit. Whoa, that was a good jump, Wheeler. Alright, now we're gonna go up this way and see what's there. And exploring! Packing baggins can die if you don't feed them right. No, actually, if you feed him a whole bunch, specifically fish, he will digest the fish. Then he turns into the big packing baggums. But he doesn't ever actually die from lack of food. Historically, I haven't actually fed him. Um, and then there's a way to turn him into the fire packing baggums too. I can't remember how to do that. Probably putting red gems? Is it red gems or something else? Hey, there's a message in a bottle over there. Let's go get that. Is it obsidian? Oh, that's going to be expensive. I was hoping it was just red gems. I was afraid it was going to be obsidian. Wait, why am I using... Hang on. Turn that on. Don't want to waste a uh, light bulb power. And it's raining. Right, let's go up this way. Make sure there's no other islands in here. Doesn't look like there will be. We got stink rays. Yay for stink rays. All right, and it is almost morning. <gasps> slot machine. Land ho slot machine. We have found ourselves a slot machine. I actually played a slot machine last week. We actually were on vacation in Las Vegas last week. And my real life slot machine uh, luck is about as good as my don't starve shop slot machine luck. Slot machines are dumb. I just, I don't understand the appeal of that. Like, I've played, um... You know, Blackjack and had fun playing that before. But slot machines are just, uh, I don't know. Not a fan. Wait, 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 no, turn the light off. You guys gotta remind me of that. Alright, here we go! <laughs> yeah, indeed, calling Crafty Chan, calling Crafty Chan. Right next to an X marks the spot, too. I mean, that if, if it had revealed that in the first place, it would have been great. But no luck for me. Alright, we gotta gamble. I like how it's like automatically dry up here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got good treasures! Look at that! Gold and a slippery fire staff. That's very exciting. Alright, what else can we get? I'd rather get like some... Does it? Can it drop Thulacite stuff? Oh, we got baddies. No! That's right, you're gonna die. Oh, come here. Aha! Die, evil monkeys. Gambling and shipwreck is both encouraged and endorsed. It's true. It's good times. I'm always worried there's going to be snakes that jump out there. Oh, look, more gambling money. All right, I'm actually pretty happy that there's a chest there. We're going to leave that there. Um, and we'll come back and gamble the rest of that later. I don't want to do much gambling now because I'll run out of inventory space. Before I know it. Uh, I will grab the bananas and the gold, though. Because that's all good. Actually, I'm going to leave some of that here. We'll leave the gold and the that and the that. And the that. No! It burned my chest! Oh, I was too slow! Curse you, lightning! I was lame. I'm not happy about that. Man, here I am all excited about that chest. And then the lightning goes and deadens it. That was not nice, game. Tempted the Murphy on that one. <laughs> right, Tar Squid? That was just like, seriously. Oh, I'm going slow already? Alright, let's zip around this way. Um, yeah, I'm just going to map out this a little bit right here. Oh, seriously, that was lame. <laughs> you remember why you uninstalled this game? <laughs> it's it's a fun sort of frustrating. At least it certainly can be. Um, I remember back when I was first learning the game and I'd feel like I was doing good and then I'd get curb stomped by something. Is that going to be? Oh, no, it's just a little lake in here. Um, but no, I'd like think I was doing good and then I get killed by something. I'd just be like, oh, man, but then I'd be like, oh, I'm starting again. I got to do better this time. And thus the cycle of violence continues.
That was always my experience. Wait, I missed something here. Oh, why right, you uninstalled the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this game is definitely full of... I don't know, for, for like a live streaming perspective, it's great. Because it's full of so many just ridiculous unscripted moments of, of high drama and intrigue that hopefully makes for a good viewing experience. But, oh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and follow that one. It's been a nice little uh, pocketed location. See if we can get more whale action. I almost didn't even see where it was going. It was hiding from me. Now it's messing with my lines for exploration. That's offensive. What? There wasn't even a wave there? I just got hit by a stealth wave. That was not a stealth wave. I just legit hit that one. I cruise through those. Oh, there's a tiger shark! Hi, tiger shark. If only he could, like, lead you back to his base. Let's see if I get a tiger shark to fight with a whale. Is that possible? Because that would be amazing. I have been known to incite violence amongst the locals. Kind of one of my things that I like to do. Good times. Very therapeutic. I always find that fighting tiger shark out and about results in tiger shark just failing. All right, so we've got a whale. There's a tiger shark. I don't know that I can herd the whale, though, because these guys don't get aggro on you. Maybe I can herd him that way. He just kind of moans in the water. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Giant flying meatballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll get the meatballs this year. Oh, he's going after the whale! I have incited violence between a tiger shark and a whale! This is exciting! I've never done this before! <laughs> Who's gonna win? My money's on the, uh, the t <laughs> <laughs> What is even going on? He just belly flopped it! Oh, that's a dead whale! Good job, tiger shark! That was great! That was fantastic! I'm very happy! <laughs> Oh, so yeah, like I was saying, you get a lot of crazy unscripted moments and it's good times. I wonder if I could blow up the tiger shark. That might be fun to try too, but I'd probably... <laughs> yeah, I know, I was a little bit happy about that. I'd probably end up blowing myself up and I don't want to, I don't want to roll those dice. We already did a slot machine and had a good result and a bad result. I do not want to roll the dice of a uh, tiger shark versus exploding barrel. So yeah, we'll have to remember where that whale is. In relation to base on my normal orientation, base is normally oriented this way. It's just down left. Wait, actually, it's almost like straight down left from base. Why are you saying no the whale? That's what you do with whales in this game. You kill them, you let them get stinky, although it might take a while for that to get stinky. Do I have to load it for its uh, stinkiness timer to start ticking down? I don't remember. Seems like you might. Hey, we got spiders. Spiders. I don't think I'm going to get this whole island explored, though. I think it'll get dark, and then I don't want to uh, keep going. For the aforementioned reasons. Alright, gotta watch the whole screen here. Gotta have my eyes peeled for Packin' Bagum's eye bone. Oh, and coffee just ran out. Makes me sad. I don't want to unload yet. All right, let's get back up to the boat. Actually, I meant to just uh, turn the light on. All right, let's get out the coffee. <laughs> Coco Nade. <laughs> Try that on the tiger shark. That would also probably end in disaster for me, if we're being honest. Three, and let's put two of those back. And make a rope. You wanted to murder it with your own bloody hands? Will she actually lead you to the den though? In my experience, she always just like runs away and disappears. We'll we'll find her soon enough. There's not much more spaces where she could be. Alright, let's see here. Let's just do some 
Oh, hey, you got some more row right there. Wait, did I get the... Oh, I put the coffee back, didn't I? Man. If I had a dollar for every time I forgot to get the coffee out. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, man, I'm just like failing left and right here. Just take half of that. Nope, nope. Spiders, stay away. Alright, and then we'll keep half of that up. Really? Alright, let's see. Pretty big run back to base. Do I have any other good defensive positions out here? That's gonna be a whatchamacallit. Um, there's enough spiders here. I could probably just use the spiders actually. Let's do that. Then we'll two birds, one stone. We'll explore the island and deal with the crocodiles at the same time. And if I happen to find a pack of baggins, I'll be three birds with one stone. I don't have my hopes up for that, but it could be nice. Indeed, obsidian coconades boom boom go bigger. That's delightful phrasing. I like it. All right, yeah, we're gonna stay here. We're going to. Drop a few things so that I have inventory space and do that and that. Temperatures are fine. Wait. Coffee. There. Now we're set. We are ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Let your energies flow. That's from a BT album that we like to listen to on road trips. All right. We have many dogs. All right, can we get them to fight? I don't know, they're being real slow about it. Are you guys seriously just gonna keep running around like that? Do the spiders not inherently attack the dogs? Or vice versa? It's gonna be real anticlimactic if I can't incite some violence here. Yeah, did I already explore the whole island? I think I did. What if I just go zoom zoom and get away from them? And then we'll have like death on the island for whenever I come back. Wow, these are some persistent crocodiles. Apparently they won't actually fight the spiders. That is some lame sauce, man. All right, well, we're going to have to go to Plan B then. Hmm, Plan B B. Um, I've, I've previously discovered that they fail at... Yeah, so the Crocodogs... I got pretty far away from them a second ago and they still didn't react or de-aggro. Okay, let's get myself back into a corner. That seems like a good idea. Coming into a nice string. We'll run the whole length of the island, dashing all the way, zigzagging between boulders and rocks and things. If we can't get them stuck on stuff, see if that works to ditch the doggos. Maybe if they get unloaded, if I get that far away. Of course, then that just leaves the problem if I ever come back here, they'll still be there, but oh well. What are the chances of me legit coming back to this island? Alright. It might be good. Alright, we will continue our voyages. Uh, let's go back and get that one. Get some uh, ocean while we're at it. But this is the way. Watching the screen as best I can. Reading chat as best I can, which is usually not very good. <laughs> if we're being honest. So who else gonna play Path of Exile tomorrow? Raise your hand in chat, proverbially speaking. I know I am. Finished my fourth uh, Beginner's Guide video yesterday. That is now posted. It's a, it's a dense game. It's got so much to learn, which is one of the things that I love about it. 
Um, but once you get into it, it's pretty fun. Alright, that's enough for there. I still keep wishing that I could dash while on a boat. It doesn't work that way. Are, are you going to play, Nervous? I know that you had issues with the uh, click to move aspect of it. Although you can play with controller too, I believe. Um, they have it on PlayStation, I think? Different uh, economy and overall experience, I believe. Alright, Pack and Baggums, where are you? Get the nice grassy flowers, we got yams, we got butterflies. Let's do that for a little bit of healing food. Although, no, I am full, actually. Uh, brain go hurdy. <laughs> Since you're getting close to 30. Ah. Uh -huh. There's so many little objects on the ground here. I'm like, wait, was one of those the fishbone? No. Man, days are surprisingly short right now. Grab a little grass. Wait a minute, that's not supposed to be there. Oh, I never remade that other bundling wrap. I didn't realize I had another one. To do. Bundling wrap. I am tempted to find a mod that lets me just push one button to rebundle my bundling wrap. Coffee just wore off. Oh, we got an X marks the spot. Asteria, you're going to play? Awesome. Have you ever played it before? Um. <laughs> Hello, fellow enjoyer of digital programs whose purpose is the entertainment of feeble minds of the species commonly known as humans. That's a great uh, hello there. I like that. Um, are you just watching? Uh, probably about two o'clock my time. So actually, I might start at about like right now tomorrow. Um, the the league technically starts, I think, like 30 minutes from now tomorrow. So a day plus 30 minutes tomorrow. Um, but I'll start streaming a little bit ahead of that. Kind of just talking about what my plans are for the league. Uh, we'll maybe talk about like my Atlas passive plan for when I get to end game. Uh, the build that I'm going to be doing. I'm I'm mostly sure I know what build I'm doing, but I'm still a little bit on the fence. Oh, you're still uh, doing the Valheim? How is the grind on Valheim? I found that getting enough iron to like move on to the next step, which I think was silver up in the mountains, it just got so grindy and you had to spend so much time hauling um, all of your loot back and forth. Why did the shovel go clear over there? X marks the spot. No snacks. Oh, look, there's a nice chest here. Shame if something bad would happen to it. Lightning. Seriously. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a real good league. Um, a lot of people are pretty hyped about it. The mechanic that they have this league will have a lot of uh, just, you know, extra monsters to kill. But the perk, the reward from it is these special little mini passive skill trees that you can get on weapons, which could lead to some pretty amazing combinations. What is yet to be seen, though, is how RNG the good combinations are going to end up being. So it might be really hard to get them. Probably will be really hard to get them. Okay, I swear that there is... Did I already get it? There's like a little patch there I saw a second ago, but... I to have gotten it. All right, we're going to go around the long way out there. Kind of go up through that stretch. And then head up to the islands up there. We've actually got some pretty good progress here on the uh, mapping. All right, coffee. Wait. Uh, yes, coffee. Oh, look at all the bioluminescence. Yes, camera is angled the right way. One of these days I really should uh, go through all of the uh, triangles. Electric isosceles, is that what it is? Yeah. Isosceles or isosceles? Why did I just say it like it was a Greek epic hero? I don't know. Nice little deep water patch. These sometimes will have the uh, swordfish. Not always. Oh, I thought it was going the right angle for me to catch that. Not quite. Got to get all those little bits. Try to avoid hitting too many waves in the process. All right, we'll go up into the shoal for a little bit of a breather. I saw the. I saw. No, that's not right, is it? That looks weird. I don't know why that spelling doesn't look right to me. Uh, let's grab some of this junk. Oh, my inventory's full now. Crap. Hang on. Ah, boat light. Boat light. And hammer keeps wandering off. 
All right, I'd like to clean those up. Oh, that didn't leave anything. Rude. I'm tempted to just eat the rot to get it on my inventory. <laughs> That's right. Inventory management has reduced Wheeler to eating rot as I hit four waves in a row. All right, I'm just going to cruise straight up because now I believe the waves are going the right direction. Yep. So we're going to make use of this time to speed up through this. Lightnings, waters, more bioluminescence. Ooh, that's a bunch right there. Should probably mark these patches with something or other. Oh, it definitely comes from a Greek word, I'm sure. Those uh, smart Greeks and their mathematical knowledge of ancient times. Really quite impressive. I was a philosophy major in undergrad and read a bunch of their old hypothesizing about atomic theory and stuff like that, and they, they came up with a lot of crazy ideas back in the day. All right, let's just keep going here. We have daytime yet? Are we summer yet? Two days left? Seems longer than it should be. We'll uh, try to hit some islands up this way, see if we get lucky and find the tiger shark den. We can down the tiger shark before the... Uh, Seasons change. Alright, that off. I am going to need to get more light bulbs. Oh, I missed a spot. Ooh, I got that. That's impressive. Alright, cut up this way. Another whale. I'm not going to worry about it because I don't have a tiger shark to kill it for me. <laughs> I still think that was great. Ooh, I've got a good feeling about this island. I don't know why, but I've got a good feeling about this island. Don't prove me wrong. Now, what wouldn't surprise me is if I run past the eye bone and you guys are like screaming about it in chat for the next 10 minutes and I don't see the screaming about it in chat. Kind of like when my uh, umbrella died. That was a sad day. Sad day for the wheeler. Uh, my feelings are getting less good about this island. Of course, with all these trees, it could potentially be hiding. Thought I saw something back there. Just a flower. Alright, let's eat some food. See if we can have the lightning burn some tall bird nests, because they do that sometimes. Yeah, I wouldn't know where it is. And that would be par for the course for me. I might think about getting a mod that makes coffee last longer. <laughs> I got two on my inventory. Alright, so this island was a dud. That's okay. Because we've eliminated another possible island. And like I said, if we get to the end of having explored the whole world, and still haven't found our bird friend, I am just going to use console commands to get it. Alright, let's go jet out this way a little bit. Stink rays! I know I'm missing that part down below, but we'll get that some other time. Don't want to backtrack or go against the waves just to get it. Alright, next island. Let's go back up to this one. Kind of, uh... Go through the middle, I think. Try to have it be a distance where I can go just one pass in that other area later. Right, let's just go up this way. Oh, we got a dolphins! Um, I don't really have anything I can leave here to mark that. Good to know that they're there. I'll have to get some twigs. How many twigs do I need to make traps? Oh, I just need four twigs. All right, let's see if we can remember that. Sail around the island first, get some twigs. Oh man, got too much stuff again. Oh wait, I can bundle some. Bundle that, 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 and that. And I'm going to preemptively hit that so that we don't run into issues. <laughs> oh, it doesn't go all the way up. I thought it'd go... <gasps> it's right there! I totally just like face planted into the top. 
Uh, let's see. I don't know if I have enough durability on this thing. I don't remember what the pattern is. Is it three or four? Yeah, four if I do that. Tiger Shark! Did y'all see the, the belly flop? That's the best part of Tiger Shark is the belly flop. If this thing runs out, I'm gonna just finish her off with the... Oh, there we go. Yay, Tiger Shark! Now we gotta go kill the babies because we're awesome like that. We got both eyeballs. I don't remember if that's like a guarantee. Oh, did they go back in? Okay, there we go. Tiger Shark down. We did it. We got a one-man band. On oh, the grassy whatever thing. Yay, Tiger Shark! No, I didn't kill the parents. I was going to, but I didn't. Not yet. Might come back later. Um, yeah, I think we'll have to come back uh, during the daytime to kill the babies. You get more of the uh, the shark skills, is that what they are? Shark gills? That's what you use to make the Dumbrella. I got the Dumbrella from something else. I don't even remember what I got it from. All right, well, I'm feeling very accomplished now. Where did my, there it is. Um, I don't think I'm going to open that X marks the spot because our inventory is a bit full. All right, that's all I wanted for twigs. I'll sail around the edge there to get the rest of that later. All right, well, we're we've got two out of three now. We've got Tiger Shark Den. We've got Slot Machine. Wow, it just got like darker. Now we just need to find pack and bagums and I oh oh ah darn flops I saw the swamp and I was like oh I gotta look around and see if there's an eye bone in there but it's just eye balls sticking out of the water I should put armor on to go back in there Wheeler is not durable sadly right, let's go back up this way a bit oh no coffee off already. I think we still have four more though, so we're good. Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty productive day. Productive, not productive. I can't even pronounce things right. Got more pigs. Always good to have more pigs. Did you guys see that? Did, did you guys just see what was on screen there? There are two Chesters up there. What is going on here? <laughs> that is so weird. The living log tree is so much more common in shipwrecked. I don't know. Winchester and Wetchester. I like that. Am I ready for a useless fact? Go for it. Hang on, I'm going to throw on my backpack. Or throw on my... my this? I am so perplexed by this. Like, seriously? What? <laughs> what is happening? Like, what is even happening here? I am so confused by this. My brain is just like in a state of, of shock at what's going on here. Just in case that mosquito comes back. But they have identical, they have identical stuff inside of them. I've got two wet chesters. Back and bagums didn't come. What is happening? I wonder if I'm going to have to like kill both of them to see if I can actually get... Oh, what, what do we do? <laughs> see if, yeah, I got to see if they'll, if they'll swim. If they'll follow me on the water, that'll be so amazing. Should have put a blank check in there, right? Yeah, 
<laughs> let's not look a gift tiger shark in the mouth. Tiger shark had something to do with this, right? Because it was right here on the tiger shark island. Um, yeah, we've got another one of those trees. Coconade? <laughs> you want me to coconade the chesters? <laughs> That's terrible. I think I might have to do that. Because um, I'm curious, like, I, I would rather have, if, if they can swim, we're keeping them. Um, I'm not super optimistic about that being the case. Well, we'll see if they die from poison. It should wear off eventually, though. I think... Okay, the poison just wore off. That's such a weird... Did I have anything approaching that in any of my previous chesters? I kind of feel like someone needs to go back and look at the inventories of my double chesters back in the day. And see if that's what they had. Okay, die, evil mosquito. Alright, we're gonna just run through the swamp real quick. Many flups. Alright, we'll grab the backpack and circle away from the swamp a bit. We now have the uh, sepia tones of the uh, dry season. My sanity's going down. Worst things have happened. Um, Alright, here comes the moment of truth. Get over here, Chesters. Come on, guys. Hopefully you didn't get poisoned again. Oh, there's the babies! Ow! <laughs> they like meow. Um, the den goes, uh, dormant when it's not rainy season. Alright, get rid of that guy. Alright, and, alright, moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. I, I don't think they're gonna follow me. No! They don't. Bad. Oh, there's the other one. Let's kill the other baby. They're so cute! Look at our little tiger shark kitties! Bouncing around carefully. Oh, he went back into the den. He made it back in. I think it's only ever just two. Alright, so we gotta do something about our chesters. What, what say you, chat? Um, <laughs> you're gonna miss these glitches. Is this a known glitch? I've I've never seen a Chester glitch into shipwreck before. That's just so bizarre. If I had gotten the two Chesters and a pack and bagums, then that would have been cool. But I need a pack and bagums. I don't need two Chesters on this random Tiger Shark Island when there's no way to get them off the island. Um, so do I use a coconut on them? I think I use a coconut on them. You know what? Let's we're going to try a few things. I'm going to log out of the game. Try, try the old theory of turn it off, turn it back on. See if that does it. Put one's eye bone into the other's storage. There's only one eye bone, though. It is the eye bone is one and the same for both. There weren't two eye bones. And that's the way it was when it glitched in uh, Reign of Giants. And I had the double chesters there is there's just the one eye bone. Um, also, welcome. Yeah, it's good to see you. But yeah, this is so weird. Wait, you're just going to run through the swamp remembering saying that right before you died in the middle of all your iron gear. And no, don't lose your iron gear. All right, well, we still have some chesters. How did the um, chesters die in Reign of Giants? Oh, he's back. Oh, man. Let me pick some seashells. Uh, let's put that in a chester. Let's make sure there's nothing flammable. Oh, look, there's a torch in the chester. Care about that. All right, let's grab the torch. All right, I think I'm just going to blow them up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put an eye bone in there. Will a coconade actually kill them? I don't even know if that'll be strong enough. Single coconade. There can be only one. Yeah, I, I want to pack them bagums. You have synonym words for and and from. Do they have different meanings? That's crazy. Um, yeah, all right. Let's let's blow them up. Seems like a responsible thing to do. Wait, I keep hearing that. 
Run away, tiger kitten. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's fun. Alright, let's see here. Gotta move some things around. I don't want anything flammable or valuable going up in smoke here. Oh wait, first let's go put those traps out. That'll get rid of some stuff in my inventory. So that spot was somewhere up over there. So let's double back. Let's... Ah, oh, this is so slow. I need to get the coffee back out. That requires more inventory management. My dolphins! I feel like this is slower than normal. Like, this is really slow. Now, where's the dolphins? There they are! Is it because my inventory is completely full, maybe? Alright, does that show up as two? No, it doesn't. Pick one up and drop it. There we go. Alright, we have marked this for posterity. Yeah, like, we're going way slow. Oh, yeah, the walking cane makes a difference. <laughs> Good point. Okay, I'm done murdering babies. Let's murder Chester's instead. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Almost. All right, let's see here. Where's... there we go. Coconut. Drop coconut. I'm not gonna try throwing the thing. No, sir. And light. And run. And... <laughs> That's funny, it cut open the coconut halves. All right, and then we're just gonna have to beat Chester to death. And we'll see what happens when, uh... Wow, that one was way tankier! All right, so now... I kind of feel like I should, like, rush back to... Let's see here. I'd rather have the gold, honestly. Although I can still make the bundling wrap, so let's do that. Do I have a chest currently? Man! Alright, let's make the bundling wrap back. Yeah, they do regen really fast. That is one of the nice things about Chester. Oops, if I pick that up. Let's wrap some perishables and... Let's get that out of my inventory. Don't care about the shells. We'll leave this other stuff here. I do want the can of orange soda because it's funny. That's a Joe versus the volcano reference for anybody that doesn't know. Oh wait, no, I need to get more coffee back out. My final round of coffee. I think I'll just eat the banana too. Free up a little bit more inventory space. All right, make more rope. Remake the bundling wrap again if I pick it up. And we'll keep those out. One, two... Orange soda and... Gills. How many gills is it for the Dumbrella? I don't remember. I just want to see. Um... Tiger Shark. Is there anything else you can make with those? Remember. Tiger Shark. Drop skills. Oh, that's right, you can make the, uh, sea sack I don't remember what the sea sack does. Oh, that's right, it slows food spoilage. I don't know how good of a slow it is, but I think it... Can it hold more than just food, though? Apparently it's flammable. 
It does not cool thermal stones. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've ever even used that thing. Let's see here. You usually use obsidian ones for killing chesters that double spawn and shipwrecked. <laughs> A chester boss fight? I think that'd be amazing. They should definitely do something like that. All right, that's all I want to take with right now. Let's go ahead and grab this bottle here. Yay! Another X marks the spot. All right, where am I right now? So we're way out here. I probably need to go back to base here. Do a little pit stop, but we found our eye bone. So yeah, how does Chester even double spawn? Uh, that is an excellent question to which I have absolutely no answers. Uh, I'm chalking that up to a glitch of some sort. We had a bug. And I do have my fish bone. Swell, a dead fish, just what I need. Now, what would be interesting is if the respawning of the attached entity of that fish bone, uh, if it were to respawn when I was out in the deep ocean, if I would get a water dwelling Chester? But I'm hoping it'll just give me a legit pack and bagums. But seriously, this is just weird. I don't know what's happening here. Do some random exploration while we're going back. Go back, we'll get our sanity up. Need to reload my boat light. Or just make the uh, appropriate dish for the uh, Yarktopus. Feed the existing one to a lure plant somewhere. Go the right way. Less. Go up like that, and... How's my temperature? Temperature's actually still low enough that I don't even need to be wearing the umbrella. Oh well. Alright. How's the boat doing? Boat's doing alright. Go. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the tar because I can just put it back. A lot of tar. I thought I picked it all up earlier. Drop the tar. Pick up the tar. I wish I had a different map icon for the. Man! Better not have hurt my fish farms, buddy. Fish farms are looking good. My food. Yeah, let's just drop that in there for a second. All right, what do we got? Nope, wrong fish. That's okay, we'll use them to make surf and turf. Is Volcano still on vacation? I don't know. It's too early in dry season to start getting rumbles, I think. But we will find out shortly. Most likely. Go ahead and just let the boat get fixed. Oh, the 250? Because Chester has like 400 health, doesn't he? That's <laughs> not all tarable. Oh, that's a good one. These stacks are great for floating ice boxes. There are no sea ice boxes, so that's your only option. Yeah, I've never really made like a full blown sea base. Probably should uh, expand stuff here, do some seawalls for decorative purposes once we actually start, like, legit building. If we ever actually get around to legit building, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. I wish this was faster. I did test once that having two of the uh, repair station things doesn't repair your boat twice as fast, which was kind of a bummer. Mm. On top of that up. Up the boat light up. Good enough. Oh yeah, as wood legs, then sea basing definitely is the way to go. Even then though, I, like when I did my wood legs run, I didn't even do that much dedicated sea basing. My sanity low just from the excessive uh nighttime. Alright, what do we even have in here? Bunch of stuff that's going bad. Oh, I thought I picked up that monster meat again. 
All right, let's go grab that. Ooh, let's fill up the, uh... Yes, I know, you're very loud, thank you. We, we hear you, we do. Birds all freaking out up there. Reminds me of my chickens when I go to get their eggs, they all come up and say, what doing? Kind of funny. Lately, they've been just like jumping straight out of the coop because the run had so much snow in it because it was snowing all week. We've had so much snow this year, I am done with it. No more snow. Stop snow. All right, let's see here. Tropical fan. We got another can of silly string. Let's throw that over here somewhere. Uh, let's throw the boards down there. I'm gonna drop the shovel and that up there. I wanna just go kill a bunch of butterflies to finish off that Cutlass Supreme right there until I get a new one. Alright, did I already ate the banana, didn't I? Um oh let's go plant that row. Go and empty this one out completely. Oh wait, it helps if I get the row out. Minor details. Come on, open. Alright, let's plant that, see if I can get the final fish that we need. Let's grab a couple of these other fish. Uh, we'll just do two surfing turfs, I guess. Just for a big sanity boost. <gasps> we got a pack of bagums! Yay! That's exciting! I'm very happy to have a pack of bagums. That is a good thing. We wanted a pack of bagums. Um, and I'm a little bit low on meat. Oh wait, no, I've got the the big fish meat. Those will work. Will they? I'm not sure if they will. I need more monster meat. That's what happens when I uh, don't kill all of the whatchamacallits. Crocodogs that have been spawning. Let's just put that in there. Those there. We'll dry these guys into jerky. We got Pack'em Bag'ems! I'm excited. Alright, so yeah, we just knocked out my three big goals in one hour, so uh, stream's ending in two minutes. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. I right, get our sanity back up. It's such a happy living fish bone. As well, a dead fish, that's what I need. Yes, that is just what you needed, Wheeler. You just don't realize it. Why was I carrying that umbrella? Need more storage chests! Three rows of storage chests aren't enough storage chests. I still have the mystery puddle there. I think there's another seat over here, so we get that. Oh, Alright, so how much fish do I have to feed this guy? To get him big and or how much obsidian do I have to give him to uh, make him the fiery pack and bag him so he can cook my coffee? Oh! Does it have to be on a full moon? I don't remember. I've never actually converted pack and bag Let's look it up real quick. Pack him bagums. Do, do do That pack him bagums if he has fed enough fish to bring his hunger above 120 points. And gets three additional slots. You don't have to wait for a full moon to transform. And apparently you don't have to get the fire pack and bagums. Now the danger with the fire pack and bagums is that he does set nearby mobs on fire. Which... Monsoon season, a mosquito thing comes into base, hits him, sets the mosquito on fire, mosquito then sets my base on fire. That, that could be unpleasant. So, I just using it as a portable coffee. Well, I guess he doesn't really make the coffee. He just cooks the coffee beans. I, I don't know. We're going to leave him as a regular pack and bag because I got to contemplate whether I really want to turn him into the fire one or not. Discuss with me the pros and cons of having him be the fire one. Cooking, you know, raw stuff does that. Put him in a safe place. Yeah. You just really like the fire burner? Should we do that? Ah, oh, Fine. Bop. 
I've never seen him convert. This will be fun. We'll do it by uh, lamplight. Ready? <laughs> He's very pleased with himself. I like how he flies while sleeping. That's a neat trick. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get my fire going. More tar up here. And let's put the obsidian back down there. Uh, remake a bundling wrap. Really? Good shadow hands. I don't want to have to run all the way around there to chase him off. Whatever, night's short here. It'll be gone soon. Um... Alright, I might need to, uh... Redo the, um... What am I thinking here? Plant another spider nest. That's what I was thinking. Or just go kill the spider nest that's down below. Maybe I'll do that. Mm, do I have a spear? This one looking. 34? Let's just do that. Got a random torch now. Let's put that in there for fun. Alright, I want to go get some more monster meat so I can make a couple more serpent turfs. Get my sanity up. Actually, no. Let's grab the Tamashanter real quick. It is still not yet hot enough. Do I have a Tamar? There it is. Alright, yeah, we should be fine for a while here. Stupid boats. Is Packham Baggins pretending? Oh, I thought he was like pretending to be Chester and wasn't flying across the water there for a second. And then I was going to be really confused. Because that would have been super lame. Let's see. What in the world? The first one, I didn't think he even hit him. Why did those guys come out? These guys are scary. Back and back up. <laughs> He's like actively attacking them. I didn't think he would do that. This guy's doing a good job of keeping his... He like shoots fireballs at him. He got poison, but that's okay. Oh, I got poison now, too. Yeah, now I'm poisoned. All right, let's put some stuff in there. Uh, let's just use those. That was crazy. He like was actively shooting fireballs. I thought it was more of a he just spits at him. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. OK, well, that's good times. And we just did have a uh, volcano rumble, so that's good. OK, so let's not bring pack and bagums for actually fighting those guys. Oh, did he burn the nest? He burned the nest. Billy Packham Bagums. I wasn't supposed to do that. All right, we'll leave him back there. Ooh, it is getting hot. May need to cool down here after all. Come here, spiders. Come here. No. He wasn't even that close. More spiders, please. Come on. And so, of course, I get everything but the monster meat that I wanted. Does anyone remember if I have any uh, anti venoms? I don't remember. Yeah, that should be all of them. All right, back home. Collect our packum bagums. Who is uh, hopefully not cooking. Will pack and bag him shoot at the floaty boats? Probably go kill those guys. I just don't want to bother with them. 
Yeah, another two close to home. I'm still worried about them maybe breaking stuff. Did he just shoot at it? I think he did. Get some dead jellyfish. Yeah, those other ones can stay. Maybe if I just leave the one, then I won't get any further spawns there. Alright. Get some more Serpent Turf going. Wow, he took the long way around. Silly burb. Wait, where'd the rest of the fish go? I thought I had like four fish that I had grabbed. Weird. Put those back. I do need to get more of that stuff. Please. All right, do I have anti-venom? Could have swore that I'd made an extra at one point. That's just logs. Maybe it's up here? No. Uh, not in any of those. So I'm going to need coral. Yes, I know I could just eat the glands. I don't want to do that again. Um, glands and a couple of kelp. I remember right. We've got plenty of kelp nearby. Oh, that was the second rumble. I need to go visit the volcano soon. Go take some eggs up there. How many cup was it? There we go. Drink that while sailing. Click our heels, make the nice little clink sound. Um, was that the second rumble? I think that was the second rumble. We're going to take some of our trinkets to the, uh, the volcano here. We've got orange soda cans. What else do we have? Do those? No, I was saving those for the Pig King, I think. Blue Cloud Pill, see if it likes the old boot. I'm pretty sure it likes the orange soda. Where do, oh, I still got that. All right, let's make some coffee real quick for the journey. Coffee. Hopefully we have enough time to do this before we get a full scale eruption. We'll come back and uh, fix these later. Really? That lure plant is not eating my offering of the football helmet? Alright, pack and bagums. Prove your worth. Okay. I was hoping that there would be a little bit more fanfare for that, but... Got the job done. It would be a little bit more satisfying if he actually did do something, though. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit, little bit disappointed that that wasn't more appealing. Now, if only he could also give me eggs, that would be great. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna... We'll just take these eggs, that's what I'll do. Oh, that was the third one. Alright, we gotta go. It is time. Right, we're gonna put that on. And Volcano is... Roughly that way. Lights are good. Lights come in handy. This is going to be tight, though. I might end up getting an eruption here. Guy Fieri. I don't know who that is. I feel like I should know who that is, but it's just not ringing a bell. Also, random crocodogs. Was this from a previous? Oh, these are ones that I ditched once before. I ain't got time to deal with them right now. We got a date with the volcano. Here we go. Time for some snack -rificing. <laughs> Meatballs, you want the meatballs? No, I gotta see if the, the, the altar is actually functional here. Right over here. We're gonna go orange soda first. But that's what the Waponi Wu enjoyed from Joe versus the Volcano. 
See how far that sends it down. Alter is functioning. We've answered that question at least. Is that it? As far as it went? For a whole can of orange soda? I don't want to use any of the trinkets on it right now. And one more. All right, there, now it's satisfied. It's no longer hungry for nom noms. Did I ever make another ice box? I didn't. I need to get another ice box here. Um, let's check the new update for, wait, there's a new update for DST. What? Is there? I remember seeing that there was a DST update. Hang on. Checking a few things. Don't starve. Beta is available for the DST version. Rifts spewing lunar energy will begin to open in the world, either by defeating the Altar Guardian or by server settings. Um, we're going to take a look at this. The first creature to spew forth are very interested in gardening. Okay, new and powerful equipment can be crafted from these ultra planar thralls with the right crafting station. Interesting. I don't know what much of any of that means, but hey, there's some new stuff in the DST beta. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's only three lines of, of new beta related stuff there. We'll have to see uh, what some of the regular DST people do for coverage of that. Uh, interesting. Oh, that I just read the whole thing. That was it. Um, there, I'll pull it over. I'll make it big. But yeah, that, that's all it says right there. New content update now in beta. Rift spewing lunar energy will begin to open in the world either by defeating the celestial champion or by server settings. So you can have it by default with server settings that they're there from the get-go. Otherwise, you have to defeat the celestial champion, which... For most players, I don't even know that most players even get to Celestial Champion. Um, you know, the, the real dedicated folks, yeah, absolutely. But there's a lot of casual players that don't even go after the big bosses like that. Um, the first creature to spew forth are very interested in gardening. I have no idea what that's going to mean. And then new and powerful equipment can be crafted from these extra planar thralls with the right crafting station. So I'll be real curious to see what all that is. But this isn't going to show us any further details of that. So, what was that? Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it would it'd make more sense for doing it after killing the Altar's Champion, but for people that just want to see the new stuff, they don't want to wait for that. All right, what do I have in here? Yeah, we'll maybe flesh this area out sometime later. All right, so with the fully satisfied altar, how much time does it actually buy me? I don't remember. I'm gonna look it up once it actually loads. Although I've got to deal with the uh, crocodiles dogs that were out here. Why is my boat light on? I think I'm gonna be up this way somewhere. If I can get them to come kind of one at a time, that would be ideal. Kind of odd that there's so many big... Although, uh, I need another... Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to round them up and then head over to the... That. With uh, Pack and Baggins doing his old napalm action there. Where the others go? Did I lose them all again already? There's one. Ooh, got multiple row here. <laughs> He's cracking me up with pack and baggins, but yeah, I'm not gonna want him anywhere near my base. He's gonna be a huge liability. He's worse than an insane willow for starting your base on fire. And that's saying something.
All right, dolphins, do your thing. The dolphins have zero patience for the crocodogs. Wow, did Packham just like long range, no scope, one shot that guy? E e e. Yes, yes, very nice. Uh, I don't want him to cook the eggs. Wait, no! I was using the wrong hotkey there. E e e. All right, good job. Except for now, my my space those out a little bit better. Make it more obvious that it's a double spot. All right, coffee wore off. Coffee's back on. All right, no, I was gonna look up how many days it was on the volcano. Alter. Uh, doesn't show it under that. You know, I just don't remember those details in this. Alter. I tried to look up Alter. Why it didn't go? All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> After being appeased by 66 segments, a little over four days of delay, we'll stop accepting offerings. So I've got four days. <clears throat> the different appeasement value. That's right, there's the, the one true earring. I thought I found that at some point. That gives you four days. Eggs give you half of a day each. My can of orange soda was two days. The brain cloud pill is also two days. Doi doi feathers are two days. You can actually feed it a doi doi too for two days. That's crazy. Birds and eggs, wobsters, rabbits are all one day. Oh, uh, it is one of the funniest mechanics of all games ever. <coughs> it's DOD montage incoming. Use a feed at Tiger Shark skin. I mean, if you had an overabundance of them after you've already got your Dumbrella, assuming you don't let your Dumbrella deteriorate. I don't know what sort of player would let something like a Dumbrella deteriorate, though. I mean, that's just sloppy. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's ignore those guys. Have I got a fish in there? Really? With the regular fish again? I think I've got backup row this time. All right, we'll stock that. All right, we're going to leave him out here. He's, he's staying in the water. He ain't coming in base. Too much danger. Oh, look, jerky. Perfect. I'll take it. Let's make more jerky. And eat those jerky. And we've got a full moon tonight. Some sanity up that way. Hey, I've got some more monster meat now, finally. Alright, let's go get some of those other fish. Oh, get on the boat. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, let's get two of each of these. <clears throat> and let's get one more of those. Oh, I need to get the uh, big fish steaks out of my inventory, too. Alright, put that over there. Do that one for a fourth jerky. I love how they look so huge when they're hanging up by their tails like that. And let's see here. Those can go back there. Let's go ahead and do that, which was silly since I'm just about to make more surf and turf. One, two, I like variety in my surf and turf. Put that one in there. Nope. Ah, you can't manage things. All right, we'll get our sanity back up finally. Um, it's cool enough, though, that I can just do this hat for a bit. Let's just uh, throw that in there. All right, do I not have any fresh... Putlai? There's one. Go ahead and top that up a bit more. Got nice, delicious surf and turf. Oh, that sounds good.
Sanity fixed. Um, oh, I should have had my pig come out. Free wear pig and I missed it. <clears throat> Go check on the doy doys. Lots of full moon. We're gonna be going back and forth to the volcano, so I might want to grab some doy doys. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed the hatching! They're very adorable. Go kill some doy doys on the volcano, I think. Go to sleep. Wow, they've got a big inventory. Pretty impressive, really. Run. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Alright, so... We've got a couple of days. It's day 345, so 348 for sure. We want to be back at the volcano. Um... What should we do now? I wonder what season is in Reign of Giants. Is it summer in Reign of Giants right now? Probably. I thought I had more grass than that. Should we do some more exploring? Should we do some building? Probably get those feathers. No, I don't want the egg. <laughs> that worked. I didn't think it would. No, I don't want twigs. All right. Oh, we're slow again. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of doy-doy feathers. Um, I kind of wanted to stock up more of my bioluminescence. There. Probably go this hat for the day. Go ahead and get cooled. Ooh, that was effective. Um, did I have more grass there? No. Oh, doy doys. Oh, that's actually a nice function of the doy doys. They'll run around and eat all the seeds and stuff. Thanks, little buddy. <clears throat> For how long do I usually stream? I usually go um about an hour longer from what time it is right now. So it's usually about two and a half hours. It just kind of depends. My kids are at school right now. Um, they get out like a little more than an hour from now. <laughs> it's so derpy looking. <laughs> derpy in an adorable way. I think, mm, I don't know, do we want to do more exploring? I'm really kind of not sure what I want to do here. Other than put a seed over here. Because it's funny. I feel like, I feel like we should go ahead and go kill a doy doy over on the volcano. That's good times. Because getting a Krampus sack would actually be legit nice. That would be very nice. So, let's see, is there anything else out that way? We could go ahead, that X marks the spot. Oh, I still need to empty these other bundling wraps though, so let's do that. I'll do it over here so I don't accidentally jump on the uh, thing over there. All right, we have much meat. Big fishes. Um, I already made a sleek hat, didn't I? Yeah, I've got the sleek hat, so I don't need more sleek hat. Um, can you make other stuff with the shark fins? I don't remember. It looks like a shark fin soup. Shark fin. Yeah, shark fin soup. What do you do for that? Minus 10 sanity for shark fin soup? That's lame. And it increases naughtiness by 10? That's weird. You make it with all twigs? I don't care about that. I'm gonna turn those into eggs. All right, we're gonna turn those into eggs. Oh, we can't. Can we feed it to the pig? We can't feed it to the pig either. Well, those are probably gonna just turn into rot. All right, so we've got some eyeballs. Eyeballs. We've got ourselves a doy doy. What else have I got kicking around here? Seaworther. And a silly string. Oh, there's the one true earring. Let's keep that, throw that into the volcano. Destroy Sauron while we're at it. 
Other than the four days, I think that destroying the one true earring should do something extra special. Because that's pretty epic. Little Lord of the Rings reference for those of you who don't know. And if you don't know, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just go kill a doi doi on the volcano. Um, Take some eggs. Yeah, let's take two eggs. <laughs> and then we'll do a little bit of exploring out that way. And... Oh, why am I still carrying these reeds? Seriously. Probably need to make sure that Pack and Bagums is fully empty too. Oh, get on there. All right, Pack and Bagums, what you got in your gullet? All sorts of random junk. Uh, let's actually leave those in there. That's fine. Nope. Nope. Delightful sound effects. Preferable over, uh... Robin over in Shipwrecked. <laughs> Makes such weird noises. I do enjoy the, uh, gotta hatch him aspect of Robin, though. That's kind of fun. A little twist on things. Wow, I'm at 165 Sanity and I'm seeing one of the... Nessa, is that what we decided she was called? <laughs> Shark babies be considered naughty, huh? Well, no, because you get those from the regular sharks, too. Not necessarily from shark babies. It's because uh, sharks are over harvested or something. I don't know. I can think of several reasons why it might be the case. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the. Uh, whatchamacallit. The uh, bioluminescence right now. All right, let's go ahead. And oh, wait, no, I've just got those. Eat still. Get rid of those. Don't know if I have enough hound's teeth yet. Oh, I should probably make some actual food. Wait, no, I've still got more in here, right? Wait, where'd it go? Where did my other bundling wrap go? Thought I had three that I was running around with. Alright, is it just me or am I missing a bundling wrap? Does anyone know where I put that extra bundling wrap? Not in there. Because that one's got like the grass and stuff. And then there was one that had the food and stuff. Ah, uh, man, if I had a dollar for every time I misplaced a bundling wrap. No, that's just the logs. Come back. No, no. That's right, I'm going to check all my chests until I find it. Where'd it go? Yeah, sharks in real life are actually really cool animals. Oh, I do have light bulbs in there. Good to know. Like, seriously, where did the other bundling wrap go? I keep losing my bundling wraps. And that makes me sad. They're a rare commodity. Or a valuable commodity, if not rare. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Reduced to atoms. It's just gone. Like, seriously, where is it? I don't understand. How do I lose so many bundling wraps? Alright, let's go. Uh, X marks the spot. We'll hit the volcano. We'll clean up that area out there. It's the right way. Oh yeah, it's around this way. All right, here we go. We're cruising. Hopefully I find that bundling wrap at some point. Yeah, indeed. First world problems. I lost my bundling wrap. Although losing all the bundling wraps when we had that fire incident in Hamlet, that was legit sad. That was like heartbreaking moment. Although, wait, was it? Yeah, I was in Hamel because of the pig with the torch. And of course, I came all the way over here and forgot to grab the hammer and shovel. Typical. So we'll go back and get those. <laughs> and really, the <laughs> third world problems. Yeah. That'd be bad, too. Random row, I'll take it. 
So they always talk about first world and third world. Where's second world? Like, what would that be considered? <gasps> we got it! We got them all! I'm gonna wait to make the uh, recipe though, because I did see... Unfortunately, I did see in one of the... Um, the new uh, update that they're working on, that those are going to be longer duration than they currently are. All right, let's feed him. He'll be dead soon. Wait, what is with these patches like expanding with the? Is that a normal thing? Why is it doing that? There are so many weird things happening in this world, and I just don't know how I feel about it. Crazy. All right, we got all of them. That's exciting. Oh, we should do the quacking with our speed and wetness protection. I forget, does it protect the boat from the wave impact? Oh. Yeah, we're just going to use the regular defensive measures. All right, Pack and Baggums, you're going to stay way out there. Why is there no water right here in the middle? All right, defensive positions. <laughs> Second World was the USSR? Communist China? I've just never heard of any other countries actually referred to as Second World. Not that I can think of, at least. Wow, that's a lot. Success! We have defeated the dastardly foes. Alright, and now I've got too much stuff. Oh, it shouldn't be that hot. All right, let's move some stuff around. What happens if I put a doy doy? Does he get cooked? Ah, it got cooked! <laughs> All right, lesson learned. <laughs> I, I didn't think that would happen, but... Apparently the doy doy got cooked. He got to reduce to ashes. That was funny. Wait, what was the myth? Oh, we don't talk about the Second World Club? Um... North Korea... I, would North Korea be considered... Second World? North Korea is an interesting place. Put this over here. We got all, like, centered in there. Alright, where... There it is. Right, we'll drop that. Grab that. Drop that. All right, there's a lot more meats now. Much monster meat. Um, I should probably make some actual bacon and eggs here. Let's eat those. I just turn these into eggs. <laughs> like Narnia? <laughs> Yeah, North Korea is definitely a different world. Oops. Over-rotated there. Bacon and eggs. I had bacon and eggs this morning. Well, technically bacon and, uh... Or, sorry, eggs with a bacon cabbage hash. Which is delicious. Yeah, we'll save that. Probably cook it, but oh well. Can you have a... What happens if you feed a bunch of fish to the pack and bagums when he's already a fire pack and bagums? Yeah, it's at two... Do they have a rope still? No. I need more grass. Add a few more tooth traps to my uh, defensive perimeter. 
Uh, let's make one more. Is that one up? Not the freshest bacon and eggs, but that's okay. All right, tooth traps. You get, wait, what? Something fishy happens? You get barbecue sauce. What? All right. There. There. Look, I'm base building. This counts, right? My official base building efforts of the day. I have added some more tooth traps to my perimeter there. I kind of don't like how there's like this big gap when they're turned that way, but then it's correct that way. Although on these ones, it doesn't look as bad. Weird. Yeah, they got the same spacing. Not sure why it does that. Alright, grab that last bacon and eggs, then I think I'm situated to actually go back to doing what I was going to do. Visit the volcano. Oh, I've got to get another doi doi now. Because <laughs> I incinerated the last one. <laughs> oh, this game. It's great. Alright. Let's swing around this way, get another doi doi. Um, there's like a uh, perpetually spinning pack and baggins fireball there. That was kind of cool. The coffee's going bad. Oh, I should have bundled it. Oh, another one hatched. All right, going to eat one of these now. I like how I've got way more doi doi's outside of the fence than I do inside of the fence. Do I have any other full grown ones? Maybe not. Oh no, there's another one. Alright, we'll, we'll use that one as our uh, volunteer for the volcano. I, I might need to make that the next building project that we do, expanding this pen area for them. Make it go like all the way up there or something. Let's not put any more doi toys into pack and bag -ups. <laughs> I still feel bad. Base building of the day truly is one of the seventh marvels of the modern world. I am really quite happy with that. No, you can eat that. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty happy with that whole uh, effect. Um, um, doi doi. Wait. This one is do with the babies were like sleeping. Still pretty cute. All right, we're going to go up this way and then we'll head back down that way and then go to the volcano. We'll get that maybe on the way back since I'm already over this way. All right, off we go. UNESCO to protect it as a world heritage. The uh, tooth trap area. It's a good tooth trap area. It's proven highly effective and I haven't lost any of my cactuses in a while, so that's a nice bonus. Oh, we got the rainbow jellies. Rainbow jellies are good times. If I can manage to not hit any waves doing this. As I look away from the screen briefly and almost hit the waves. Are they going slightly up? They are. I'll be going against the current though here in just a minute. Alright, so daytime, that'll be fine. Circle back and forth. Got to complete our map exploration tendencies. And so, I don't know, for those of you who have seen the uh, Path of Exile videos, I explained in the most recent one that in Path of Exile, it's actually counterproductive to like fully explore every zone and kill every monster in every zone uh, while you're leveling through the campaign. And, and I don't ever feel like any OCD need to actually explore zones fully in that game. It's kind of weird. At the, or, uh, don't starve though. It's like uh, I've got to. It's just one of these things. You just have to do it. It's not optional. It's mandatory. For me, at least. <clears throat> Although I'm not sure that even in DST that I've ever like fully explored the whole map. Now that they have the ocean content, which I realize they've had for a long time. But all right, we don't care about that whale. 
Water is looking all good out here. Looks like there is a steamer trunk I can smash. Oh, I need more swordfish. Is that the one that's supposed to be way over there? No, no, no. Ah, why did it do that? Man, if I had a dollar for every time I killed a swordfish when I was just trying to switch back to my stick because it went to the wrong spot. Seriously. <laughs> Is that a second world problem or was that one a first world problem? All right, that one is empty. I have the hammer. Well, I could have used that as a sea storage device, I suppose. All right, so yeah, it is day 348, just like I had planned. Good job. Keep all your doy doys right on the volcano in a house. Um. Oh, in a house, because if they're in the house, then they don't have a... Uh, Wait, why am I suddenly... Okay, I thought I was like super overheating for a second there. Um, if they're inside the house, do they count as not in the world? Basically? For purposes of summoning a Krampus? Ooh, look at that! Volcano about to get mad! Alright, should we do the one true ring? I'm doing it, the one true ring. Or indeed, the one true ring. Swell, about as useful as one sock. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm a little disappointed they didn't have a little bit of a better line for that. And that should make it all sorts of happy. I just like watching it go all the way down. Clay should totally make a little like desk altar of sacrifice that you could just have on your desk. You can store like M&Ms in it. That'd be cool. All right, let's eat that. Um, I don't think about where I want to do the cramp. I should we just do them right here. Oh, wait, we want to do it with him not around. I don't want him causing problems for it. All right, doy doy. Come here, evil Krampi. Whoops. All right, Did we get anything good? Sadness, nothing good. Just coal, coal and monster meat. Nothing good today. Um, I do like that idea, though, of... So, wait, hang on, I gotta catch up on some of that. They keep all of your doodays right in the house in the volcano. It just makes it easier. It's just keeping the house in the base. Yeah, I should probably actually move them into the... Bout, into the... Wait, have I made a house yet? No, I haven't made my slanty shanty here yet. Um, Have a backup parent group. So, will they breed, though, when they're just inside the house if I don't go there regularly? In case it decides to rain fiery meatballs and kill everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep some backups out here. Alright, so that's all happy. So we've got four more days. We're going to go up to three... Hmm... Maybe go 352. Oh, wait a minute! Do I need to go back over to Hamlet? Am I going to have a... Uh, Uh, Apocalypse? I might need to go check on Hamlet, actually. Because we've been doing it on a 50-day cycle. Yeah, you need to enter the room for the Dodois to breed. That's what my assumption was. Because inside the houses would be treated as unloaded, was what I was thinking. Back him, back him. Okay, there he is. Worried that he wasn't following there for a second. Right, let's go get rid of this other steamer trunk. Um, feathers, let's get that back over here. 
Don't want to put all this fish in, Mr. Packham. Wait, anything in there? Nope, smash that one down. I like how there's like this random fishing spot there. All right, head back up here. That's just a yeah, that was a regular raft. I'm half tempted to just smash that, can I? <gasps> you can. All right. Or that. Oh, it's so nice having the extra storage of the pack and bagums. We probably should make that a teleportado at some point, just for fun. Go get the X marks the spot. Look at all the rainbow jellies. They're so cute. They're so happy. All right, Mr. Packham. It's a very roundabout way to get caught back up to me. Uh, what happens if I put coal in there? He's not going to incinerate the coal, is he? All right, let's dig that one up. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried, though. I have snakes pop out. See if we can make sure that he doesn't aggro on them. Okay, no snakes. No snakes. City machete. That's out of ooh, a windbreaker. That's exciting. More blue gem action. And let's break it. Do that. All right, Mister. Oh, ah. Oh, yeah, so I was thinking that he would only cook foods, but he's burning all flammables. How come we didn't burn the boards? All right, so yeah. Oh, that's right. No, someone mentioned that to him, that you can put stuff in him and it ashes things. Um, okay, so that's cool. We're, we're learning the intricacies of life with pack and bagums. Or, uh, I have never before used the fire pack and bagums. All right. Uh, where was I going to go next? Probably head back to base, unload my inventory. We may have explored all of the islands at this point. I don't think there's going to be any islands in there. Those areas are too small. It'll just be a matter of just finishing the map exploration here at some point. Um, we might need to hop over at least briefly to uh, Hamlet and see what it's looking like there. In terms of, you know, seasons and all that. Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, Coffee Central, because you get all of your ashes much easier that way. Which is nice, then maybe I won't have so many extra torches laying around, because I keep making them all the time. No, it'll be really cool is if we can get double pack and bagums. Oh, I think there should be something where if you put tar in a fire pack and bagums, he like spews out like napalm or something. How cool would that be? Definitely needs to be a mod for that. That would be amazing. Wow, I've got a luminescence right there. I have to go get that. Although I do still have plenty of uh, light bulbs. That up. up that up. Yeah, we need to go hop over to Hamlet. Um, <laughs> Pack and nade. <laughs> that would be cool too. Have him do a self destruct move. Obliterate everything in the vicinity. Go ahead and get the boat topped up. Uh, empty inventory, and then we're going to go hop over to Hamlet real quick. Um, I think I left the gems on the hello locator, so I should be able to just warp straight to it if I remember right. I'm excited for Path of Exile tomorrow, though. Leagues start with Path of Exile. It's just like this whole experience. The whole community is like all amped and hyped. It's kind of like, you know, new launch day for games. Um, except for they have a better track record of actually having the game work. It's like the Diablo 4 beta. The queues were astronomical. It was like an hour plus uh, the first day of those. Um, hang on, I want to make myself some uh, caviar, but I can never remember that recipe. My brain has a memory for surf and turf and a few, or not, yeah, surf and turf, bacon and eggs, and a few others, and everything else just escapes. That's what I was thinking. I needed to have a kelp for it. 
All right, mister, you can stay here for a bit. Um, that, oops, that, that, oh, twigs. It's a twiggy caviar. Mmm, delicious. Um, I should dry those steaks up. Turn those into big jerky. Which is what I probably should have done before anyways. And we'll dry that one. Getting toasty out here. Um... I probably don't have space here to make a new house. Oh, uh, let's see here. I want to see if I can even fit a house in this area. It's a little bit cramped to have a house because it'll block visibility of other things. Those. Well, the two or three, and actually, hang on, I gotta get my uh, Steam Chat back up. Oops. I'm gonna need a lot more stone. Yeah, it was just two, I think. Oh, no, it was three. I saw it do the movement thing, and I thought there was enough. Shipwrecked is not the best place for stone. Although you do have a replenishable source with the meteors that fall down. Oh, it barely fits right there, but that's just a little bit too tight. I'd be probably okay if it was over there. I don't know that's going to fit around here. Let's go ahead and smash that because it's funny. You know, that might be acceptable. It's really not blocking visibility of other stuff. What do you think? I think that's fine. Do it. Yay, we've got a house. And <laughs> it comes with a welcoming present of coal on the floor. That's nice. All right. Well, that's exciting. All right, we got some coals there. I need to make that cutlass. Why didn't it? Oh, I need twigs. <laughs> Imagine that. This is weird. I've been like not having my full critical survival materials on me all the time, and it's just kind of strange. Bone fragments. Doi doi feathers. Money can go back. Those back. Oh, I have other foods to put away. I'm going to keep the fan with me. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need to take that with. Let's just drop these here. Actually, no, I should just keep those in pack and bag -ems. We need to empty him out anyways. For he is pretty full. We'll leave the brain cloud. You know, I'm going to leave that there too. And then... Hammer and shovel. Alright, those can stay there. I gotta catch up on a little bit of chat. Coffee can always be made fresh. Wait, what do you mean coffee can always be made fresh? With pack and bagums? You need to I need an explanation on that one. Um the randomly just test it at uh, this insane pig set pace and regenerate it through the set piece config. Sometimes it still didn't spawn. Buggy bugs. A new crafting station. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a new crafting station in DST. Yeah, what do you mean by, um, that coffee can always be made fresh? Speaking of coffee, I need to go make those guys. Are you talking about the coffee plants? 
no matter how old the beans are, just cook them to fresh. But if they're already cooked, you can't recook them. Hence my confusion. Just keep them raw, is that what you mean? Just keep them like that, like in your fridge. Toss them and pack them, bag them. Fresh ground coffee. <clears throat> I need to chain cook. I need to get the, um, whatchamacallits moved over, the bee boxes. Use that for food. Do they go to 100% freshness when you cook them? I wasn't aware of that. Wait. One more at the moment. <laughs> Although it's really not a big concern with bundling wraps. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I just wanted one of them. All right, pack him. Cook me a coffee. Fast. That is some efficiency right there. Oh, I'm going to need a light. Let there be light. Um... Why didn't I just cook all of those? I'm trying to think of a reason why I didn't just cook all of those. And what is with these puddles? Like, is this a normal thing? That puddles keep spawning when it's... Nighttime? I'm so confused by that. Alright, Ash, I think I'm keeping over here. Blue gems, probably up in there. Some more bone fragments. That aren't terribly useful. Go ahead and top of that up. Emma Shanter. Won't be needing that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna decorate my uh, shanty here with weird headpieces. That'll look nice. Little trophy headpieces. Jack it up there. Great. <clears throat> Clean up the clutter a little bit. Alright, um... Yeah, no, I, I should make a full batch of more coffee. And seriously, what happened to that other bundling wrap? Did I leave it where I had the whole Chester shenanigans, maybe? That's the only other place I can think of, because I'm like seriously down to bundling wrap here. Definitely wasn't that one. Nothing in there. <coughs> Alright, we need to get ready to go back over to Hamlet, though. And I wanted to take some more coffee. So we can just speed run back. Alright, we'll go ahead and cook the rest of those. Thank you, sir. Very kind. Um, that does mean I'll probably come back to eruptions, which is a bit of a dicey concept. I don't, hmm, don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I've got enough of a buffer. Because it is 60 days. I don't remember if I did the last calendar run on day 350. Maybe I should go super appease the, uh, the volcano and then just hurry and run back and forth. I think that's what I'll do. We'll go appease the volcano real quick. Uh, just to make sure that it's really tamped down. And then we'll run over to Hamlet. And uh, that might do it for today. Alright, let's go fast. Yeah, there's still that fireball there. Kind of cool. Not sure if that's working as intended or not. <laughs> Missing bundling wraps are just the tax you have to pay, right? The sanity tax. Although I usually use the term sanity tax as like an extra cost for something to make you happy. So kind of like paying for convenience or stuff like that. Alright. 
clean up some of those stragglers. Apparently failed to pick them up the last time I was going through the area. Right, let's go hit myself with that real quick, cool down a bit. Let's go. A moon rock hammer? Oh, you're checking out the stuff on the new beta? New pickaxe. Is the moon rock hammer the one thing you're asking for, or was it something else? Oh, it's barely even going. Should have brought eggs. Fresh out of eggs. Do I have any doi doi feathers that I left here? Hang on a sec. What else works on? Do rocks or do rocks make it? Altar of Sacrifice. Mm, let's see here. Feathers, bone, fragments. You can even use like the snake bones. Interesting. You go kill some jellyfish. Camp it down that way. Do coffee beans? Coffee plants are bad. Why am I not? I just barely used it. Does it reset your temperature when you go onto the volcano? I'm trying to see if there's anything else good here that I can give to it. There's a lot of stuff that it doesn't like. It makes it mad. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, And actually, the boot is not one of the listed ones anyways. I'm not going to give it the brain cloud pill. Let's just do that. Ooh, look, more copy. Have a brain cloud and be pleased with your brain cloud. All right, we got to go over to Hamlet real quick. Make sure we don't have any uh, unwanted apocalypses kicking off. Might need to visit the uh, end well, make sure that there's uh, enough purple gems to restock it. Though I might not restock it because we do still need to do the large iron hulk. I can go the right direction. So maybe we'll spend next time, depending on what season it is. <clears throat> you know, I'm just gonna let him, uh... Oh, pack him! You're going for the, uh... The stink rays there. We're just gonna leave that guy. Let him keep doing his thing. <clears throat> so the pick is Thulacite Pickaxe, but from Lunar Stuff. Ooh, that is cool. Yeah, this world we started in Reign of Giants, and then we came to Shipwrecked, and uh, then Hamlet was the third one that we went to. Ah, uh, I get so sick of these guys. Oh, really? They're the ones killing the jellies, not me. Yeah, you try to run. You're right in his ass. Alright, clean up the waters. Uh, I'm not going to worry about repairing the boat right now. Nope, come on. Uh, leave that. Oh, I'm glad to have another obsidian machete, though, without even have to spend anything on it. Because that is handy in, in uh, Hamlet. And... How many teeth? Just eat that. Put some monster meat there. Alright, coffee, bacon, and eggs. That's fine. Hopefully won't need more than just one of those. I'll go ahead and keep that with me. What's 
that hat doing over there? Did that one blow away or something? Ah, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Why is it? I'm trying to drop it. Why is my control click not working? Am I, like, forgetting my hotkeys here? Weird. Drop it. Um, and we'll give him a tooth. Maybe. Good job. Alright, we did it. And we're getting hot. My, uh, auto drop hotkey wasn't working for some reason. It's supposed to be control right click, but it's not working. Why did it suddenly stop working? I don't understand. Make any sense? Alright, let's leave that. Oh wait, no. I broke it again. Alright. Let's hop over to Hamlet. Okay, make sure I know where my light is in case it's... No, we'll just wait until it's daytime. <clears throat> Catch up on some of the chat there. Armor Sword doesn't do anything special yet. But we have the Lunar Sword, the Glass Cutter, right? Even though I'm a creature, so maybe it does something for the new mob. So it'll... St You'll stop talking about it here, though. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I may have to check that out. All right, quick trip over to Hamlet. Let's see what's going on over here. I haven't been back to Hamlet in a while. And it is lush season. Why was there a pack of bagums there? Did you guys see that there is a pack of bagums there? Whoa. Are my hang on, I gotta refresh my streaming window. It's like way behind. Weird. It showed me, just now when I was looking at it, it was showing me back at the, uh, the eye plant. All right, now it's better. Yeah, there was like a pack of bagums just now, wasn't there? Did you guys see that? It appears to be gone now. Ah... Uh... Sneezing already. Was that a BFB? You land on my base, dude. I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> if he lands on a hippopotamus, that'd be real funny. Alright, let's get over here. Ooh, I kind of do want to find another, uh, whatchamacallit. Terrifying every time. Yeah, he just pooped. That's right, go away. We don't want you here. We'll let the scary plants attack the vines for me. They can break them down. Okay, so we are going to need to make a couple more... Um, Nettle Salad, that's what I was thinking of. Make sure we don't have to deal with, uh, hay fever while we're here. I really hate using this weapon for that, but I don't want to take the time to make a different one. Uh... 
still not working. Why is my mod not working? It's so weird. Okay, so nettle salads. Need to get some twigs. Can you not bug me for a second here, dude? We'll go ahead and just let the uh, stink bug just roll around in base for a bit. Oh, we got... <laughs> I thought I cleaned that one up. Did I not? Weird. Go ahead and dry that while we're here. Uh, I gotta get rid of that. Oh, does using a shovel work better? Probably. I probably just did that completely wrong, huh? I need to get more of uh, the root trunk stuff. Although, do I? If I make a root, can I place a root trunk in shipwrecked and have it work here? I don't know. Stock up my grass a little bit. <clears throat> you go to the hamlet, you won't uh, be able to go back. Uh, no. You have to have a way to get back. When you first go to Hamlet from the other worlds, you won't have the um, Seaworthy or Skyworthy. So you have to do enough stuff in Hamlet to be able to go back. But yeah, there are ways to go back. The Seaworthy and the Skyworthy let you travel to the other worlds. All right, let's make some more nettle salads. I think we'll just make the three, because I'm hoping to not be here very long. Apparently, they do stun lock. Alright, break those down. Get the poop out of base, because no one wants poop all over in their base. Oh look, another bundling wrap! I should probably take that with, actually. It doesn't have a lot of light bulbs, but a little bit's better than none. Alright, reorient my inventory. Won't be needing the umbrella here. Most likely. Only if it rains, but that's usually not too bad. Yes, I know you're very squawky. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. With what we got going on here. Uh, let's see, where is... There it is. Um... Probably should have gotten a hand bat for this, but... Oh well. Alright, make sure I've got my lantern at the ready. And... Does the telelocator have any restrictions on range? Remember. Because Wagstaff's little uh, umbrella, whatever that thing was called, I don't even remember what it was called, did. Forgot to bring pack and baggums. <laughs> Alright. No, nope, that's backwards. I always forget which way's which. Alright, so we're just going to fast forward this. Get it past there, then we gotta go get some more purple gems to restock this thing. Oh wait, no, 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 we're not going to. We're going to not get the purple gems to restock this thing, so we just gotta get out of here, basically. Um... Although, did I leave a chest here? No. Apparently not. Did I leave a chest over here? I did. I don't remember if I had good stuff in there. Um. <clears throat> All right, well, let's just go ahead and run back and then maybe next time we'll work on because Lush Season's not too bad once you have um, the nettle salads. So let's work on doing the Ancient Guardian for next time because that'll be fun. That is one of the funner fights in all of the Don't Starves. Along with the... Uh, oh, we should probably do the... Uh, Pugilisk again, too, for fun. Oops, I overshot. Sanity's not too happy. 
What is that going off? Mm. I'm going to wait until daytime, because if I remember right, there's quite the welcoming committee outside here. And I don't want to deal with that. I still can't believe I lost that bundling wrap. I'm going to open that. Make a new one. Ancient Guardian of Ancient Gerald? What? Right. Rebundle that. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to deal with... I want to have maximum speed for when I get out of here. We'll wait for daytime. Do I play DST with your subscribers? Um, every now and then we've had some dedicated servers. Um, I don't always have a lot of time to play on the dedicated servers, depending on how diligent I'm being about making videos and stuff. Um, currently our dedicated server is Minecraft, and me and my kids have actually been playing that every now and then. Because my kids like to play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's inhospitable right there. And I probably just ran the wrong direction, but... When you've got that much junk, you just you get out. But yeah, the Minecraft server is going to be for the month of April. Oh, I just ran into all the paths. <laughs> oh, this is great. That's so many bats. Oh, crap. There's vines all over in the way. Do they get hung up on the vines? Oh, that was tight. That was a close gap there. Um, yeah, the one that we had last before the Minecraft was Seven Days to Die. That was fun. I played on that for a bit. Um, and then I think we're still debating what we're going to do for May. I'm kind of leaning towards Valheim, though. Can I grab that? No. All right. And then this one is just right over here. Still a lot of nettles out here. I think I'm good on nettles, though. Ah, it's inhospitable. Where is the... Ugh. I hate it when those things go wandering off. Seriously, get back over. There. Now it's actually toggling, right? Alright, so this one's down, and then just straight across. Mm, don't need that stuff. Yeah, join the Discord server to get the information on stuff like that. Um, someone want to do the command? It's in the video description, too. I put it in, like, most of my stuff. I didn't put it in the Path of Exile stuff, just because there's not enough content, really, on the channel. That I don't think it would make sense. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> a purifier. Alright, we're just gonna shoot the gap. There. That's actually pretty convenient. Because I totally don't even need to have... You know, I'm going to grab some of these flowers. Um, don't even need to have the particle purifier. Very inhospitable terrain in the hamlet. Where are those out? Did I have a BFB land over here at one point? That is an odd spot for a poison frog to be. I'm like all turned around. You has the power indeed you do, Nervous. I think I said it so that only moderators could do it because it was getting spammed too much for a while there. Back in the day. Another fun fact of Hamlet, it is perfectly fine. In fact, encouraged. To pick flowers. The jungle flowers spawn the evil, evil light butterfly things that just cause problems. Alright, let's see here. I think I can get back to base. You know, I'm actually kind of happy to have those guys around eating those for me. You just keep doing your thing, man. 
Did I just push them? <gasps> I didn't know I could push those around. Well, I feel like a regular dung beetle now. <laughs> that was fun. You normally do that? Apparently. Alright, so yeah. Um... How many days? So four days left. So let's try to remember day 360 ish. We want to be back here. <gasps> oh, that's just logs. But still, I can use those logs. I can use those bundling wrap. Found more bundling wrap. Oh, oh, hey, fever, it's coming. Um. Eat those, get rid of them. Or I could put them in pack and bag them. That'd be an option. I'm just gonna leave this out here. Uh, that coffee can stay. I'm gonna leave these in the fridge. And yeah, that was very efficient. We'll have to run the full route next time that we have to go all the way to the uh, calendar room. They have in here, anyways. Not much. Need some bullet for Valentine? What? Oh, yeah, Twitch is a whole different story. You get all sorts of crazy stuff going on in Twitch streams sometimes. All right, let's go back to Shipwrecked. Finish off uh, the episode. This will be the last day. Once it's morning, I need to log. But I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be streaming for a long time tomorrow. I'll see how long it takes me to get through the uh, the campaign. So again, it'll be at about uh, two hours earlier than right now. Is about when I'll probably start the stream. But I'll schedule it first thing in the morning. Oh, it's a band. Gotcha. I haven't heard of that one. All right, still dry season here. Did I leave the umbrella in Hamlet? Oh, I think I did, huh? Let's hop, hop back real quick. I don't want to overheat. That was silly. Oh, they're a metal band. I like metal. My favorite band is a group called Dream Theater. A lot of people don't know of them, but it's just it's just good music. I like so many of their albums. Half the time, if I'm like, I want to listen to music, I put on a Dream Theater album. I've got like all of them. Some tears will fall. That's got to be a reference to something. I don't know what that's a reference to. Oh, that's where my anti-venoms were. All right, there's the Dumbrella. Grab that. I don't think there's anything else here that I want to take back. <laughs> More cactus. All right, let's go ahead and hop to Shipwrecked. Ween, the best band ever. Oh, Jordan Rudess. Yeah, the dude, he's good. John Petrucci on guitar. So good. I'm going to have to check out. So um, what was it called again? Bullet for my Valentine. I'm going to make a note of that. I'm going to check. And uh, hang on. Do to do knife. Is that Dej? Was that for the bullet for my Valentine band? Or was that from a different group? Is some tears were fall? What was that a reference to? <laughs> I'm going to turn emo by next stream. I'll be like, should I be like all like goth makeup and stuff? That'd be hilarious. I do have a special shirt I'm going to wear for the stream tomorrow. Picked it up in Vegas. It's pretty cool. I thought about wearing it today, but then I forgot. Estera, you did like the super goth thing for your Wednesday um Wednesday Adams thing that was pretty cool looking I've never gone goth before that's like a phase of life that I never experienced look at that two more bundling wraps oh that feels good and all sorts of logs you know I'm gonna go put a couple chests inside this this slanty shanty slanty 
Lanty Shanty? Can't even say it right. <laughs> Sad and drag. My Chemical Romance, I do recognize that name. Let's just put a couple chests in here. Oh, you do get the grid in here. Alright, let's put them up there. I don't know what I'm going to keep in here, but I just thought it might be nice to have some chests in here. Hey, if there's a volcano eruption and you go inside a slanty shanty and wait, does the eruption pause while you're inside the house? Or can you actually completely wait it out? I have no idea. You know, I'm going to put these logs in here. Alright, very nice. What happens if I'm in the slanty shanty when the, the crocodogs come? Really confused. Oh, tears don't fall. Is that's um the bullet for my Valentine's? That reminded me of Tears for Fears when you said Tears Don't Fall. I was confused there for a second. Yeah, I'll definitely check out that band. All right, let's go deal with the dogs, and then that will be it for today. I right, don't need to use that. Much feathers, much meat. Right, I kind of don't want to keep getting spoiled, rotten morsels and stuff here. Go ahead and use a coffee just so I can be zoomy. Alright, bring it on, dogs. Oh, he got the tooth traps. All right, and then we go and help the traps. Cause I don't want to lose my traps. Oh, that's such a good tooth trap area. Love it. Let's offload a few things so I can pick everything up. Reset my traps. <clears throat> Tears don't fall cover by Violet, Violet or Landy. So that's a cover of the bullet for my Valentine. I'll see if I can find uh, covers for that song, too. I'm excited. I'm going to expand my musical horizons here after the stream. So it's kind of funny because I frequently get asked on streams and otherwise, like, what's your favorite fill in the blank, right? And I always say that, you know, I just usually don't have favorites for anything. I do for music. I have a very short list of music that I like to listen to. And most of the time it's Dream Theater. Um, sometimes other alternative rock type bands um, like uh, Deftones, um, Incubus. I mean, there's just a bunch of, you know, that type of genre that I like, but it's mostly Dream Theater hands down is my favorite. <laughs> so I do have a favorite on that one. Actually, maybe I should have leave a seat out there and then I can get feathers that Pack and Baggins can burn for me. All right, I've got an overabundance of these now, so we're just going to drop those. Feed that to the lure plant. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the seed back here. Wow, I didn't even turn on. All right, let's go ahead and eat these for some hunger and sanity. And I think that's it for today. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it right there. Um, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Your favorite is Taylor Swift. <laughs> she does have some good songs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it for today. I will be back tomorrow. Be doing a whole bunch of Path of Exile, just having fun with that. Uh, and then I'll be currently listening to some music. So I got to write some other names down. So You just like the band. Uh, make sure I don't see missing. So Violet or Landy. Cover. Yeah, go ahead and post some of that stuff in uh, Discord, Dej, if you want to. 
Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow doing um, Path of Exile League start. The Crucible League starts tomorrow, and that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I think I'm good. I got a boogie. Got to get a snack for the kids for when they get home from school. And then we've got, we started doing a martial arts classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's a little bit later, but got to make sure that they're ready to go for that. And so, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Go play Path of Exile. If you've never played it before, give it a try. Watch my guides. You'll be all up to speed and ready to rock and roll. And that's it for today. Later.